Hello, this is Aaron with Gibson Photo Art. We're going to do a little tutorial day requested by somebody on uh, PhotoshopTalent.com. We have a picture of a young lady that I have uh, actually did some headshots for, acting headshots uh, for an upcoming Disney spectacular. So um, I had a request for something that looked similar to this, which, if uh, I'm correct, that's apnea. Uh, he was wondering about the eyes, uh, the catch lights in the eyes. These might actually be natural, but we're going to try to duplicate those in Photoshop using some adjustments. So we'll start with this image here. And uh, how we're going to start is we're going to create a uh, levels adjustment. And what we're going to do is try to highlight our eyes. So I'm just going to brighten this here. Uh, just not going to touch any other of the, the switch uh, buttons. We're actually just going to do a mid-tone adjustment. And uh, you'll notice here that that does not change our file size here. This is an adjustment layer, which actually doesn't have any pixels in it, so it won't actually increase the file size at all. And what we're going to do is actually going to take the, the mask, hit Control and I, To actually uh, reverse or inverse this uh, this mask, so now the entire adjustment layer is masked out. Now you want to make sure your brush tool is selected. Then you also want to make sure that you have your default colors. If you need to, select this. You want white as your foreground color here because we're actually going to unmask what is here uh, underneath the eyes. So I'm going to brush stroke about yay big and I'm literally just going to paint just a little bit around here just to brighten up the eyes just a little bit don't worry if it's too much because what we're literally going to do is come back in here and just change the opacity to what we need so you can see how that just brighten up the eyes uh, just a tiny bit uh, we can actually back off a little bit here there we go so just brought some brightness to the eyes because uh, she actually has very dark eyes, very almond colored eyes, which unfortunately you can't see with the black and white conversion that I've done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create another empty layer here and we're going to use a white brush and uh, this is really um, a very simple adjustment. I find that uh, I kind of overdo it and then back off on the opacity to kind of blend things in. You can also use blending modes and things like this. This is a lot easier than trying to explain the different blending modes. So I have my brush selected, fairly small brush, and I'm literally just going to trace in right across here. Now I'm using an octabox for my main light, so uh, that's why you get the, that nice shape right in the, in the eye there. Then we're also going to create some additional catch lights to kind of throw off people who are trying to match my lighting. So I'm just going to put catch light here catch light here just slightly bigger. Now I use, am using a tablet to, the, to do this but this is quite simple to do uh, with a mouse as well. Or else go to the other eye we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of paint this in a little bit. Now it's going to look very very pronounced right here um, but again we're going to blend this in so it's not nearly as uh, you know, it doesn't stand out quite as much. I'm going to just take the opacity. We're just going to scrub it down here to get kind of what we're looking for. And I see, very, very simply done. Adding catch lights to the eyes, it's a little bit murky here with the catch lights in there. Just adds a certain dimension to it, almost like, you know, an anime kind of look. Adds a lot of dimension to the shot, uh, really brings out the eyes. Um, we'll have some additional uh, uh, tutorials that I'll add as we go along and uh, some retouching things I've learned some destructive mostly non-destructive using adjustment layers uh, and uh, basically if you need uh, contact me if you have any additional questions you can reach me at uh, gibsonphotoart at yahoo.com thank you